This video will go over the assembly instructions for the Force 100. The tools that will be needed are a long shaft Phillips screwdriver, preferably a medium sized head, 7mm wrench, a 12mm wrench, some electrical tape, some self algamating tape. Step 1. Ensure that the top and bottom portion of the feed are securely fastened together. Step 2. Ensure that there is no damage to the dome area of the dish. Step 3. Ensure that the bracket and transition are aligned properly so that the feed can be easily inserted. Step 4. Ensure that the transition is securely attached to the bracket. Use a screwdriver and a 7mm wrench to tighten the screws if needed. Next step is to pre-thread the screws into the radio hood. Once the screws have been pre-threaded, you can remove them. The next step is to lay the dish onto a flat surface and attach bracket to the dish using the bolts, nuts, and washers provided in the kit. Use a 12 millimeter wrench to tighten the bolts. Once you have tightened the four bolts, determine which side you want the radio hood to go on.
Attach the radio hood with the screws and washers provided. This is where a long shank screwdriver comes in handy. Continue this process until all four screws have been installed. After the radio hood has been installed, flip it over and insert the feed into the dish. Ensure that the cambium logo is facing up, pointing towards the same direction as the hood. Here's the hood and the cambium logo is up here. Flip the unit back over and insert the three set screws. Insert the three set screws. This will lock the feed onto the dish. Insert the reverse SMA connectors from the wire bundle through the one inch hole on the hood that is attached to the bracket. Attach the rubber gasket onto the hood. And attach the vertical to the bottom connector and the horizontal to the top. Attach the reverse SMA cables to the radio. The vertical is on the left and the horizontal is on the right. As you're looking at the Cambium Loco.
gently pull the SMA cables through. And attach the radio to the bracket with the internal nut provided. Zip tie the SMA cables to the rubber boot to prevent water ingress. Insert U-bolt into pole bracket with teeth facing the U. Attach U-bolt to assembly. Use the washer and nut provided. Do the same with the other U-bolt and pull bracket provided. The assembly is not complete. 